Hi dear students, in this special series on subject wise strategy, we are going to identify all the important topics that you must keep in mind before you start working on a subject. We will be looking at the trend for each subject and then mapping it to all the tasks in the app so that you can prepare better and score better. In this video, we will look at the preparation strategy for physiology. Now, physiology is a first year subject and it's very easy to forget because there's a lot of factual data that comes with this particular subject. Now, in its true sense, physio overlaps a lot with pathology, then general medicine. You will see a lot of these concepts repeating everywhere uh, bit by bit with regards to uh, saliva, right? So, there is a vast expense, uh, even cardiovascular problems come in medicine and path. So, respiratory diseases, again medicine, everything in medicine is ultimately mapped down to physiology. Even pharmac has a lot of applied concepts with physiology. So, when you are preparing physiology, mainly focus on the factual and theoretical questions because the clinical implications are anyways going to be taken care of in your, in your other subjects. Now, technical weightage of physiology according to NEAT uh, pattern is 7 questions out of the 240 accounting for 28 marks uh, actually, but it can vary from around 14 questions to 6 questions, like it could be fluctuating from as many as 14 to 6 in the last year. Now, in order to understand which topics are important in physiology, let's try to analyze all the questions that were asked in previous NEET MDS exams and assign them a specific topic and then see which topics have more focus to be given. Now, on the left, we have all the topics. Now, we've specifically cut down these topics into smaller points so that we can get a clearer idea rather than just putting a big umbrella for each system. So, that gives you the chance to focus on very specific areas under each chapter, right? The first question, a uh, substance which travels down its concentration gradient is known as facilitated diffusion. This is general physiology. Then fraction of EDV ejected with each stroke is called ejection fraction from heart. Neurons related to nucleus of addiction is located in acupens, CNS. So as you can see, they are all very straightforward factual questions, no messing around with clinical. So it is on point. You have to learn them as it is. Transient hyperpolarization of nu uh, neurons causes decrease in conduction. Then inhibition, uh, inhibitory signals are transmitted by this center which is located in pons and medulla. You have to identify it is pneumotaxic center for respiratory regulation. Then muscles which affect expansion of AV valves is caudate endine. So as you can see there is a good distribution of these questions amongst all systems. Then for jugulus venous pressure the wave is given. This is from blood pressure. Broca's area 4 is from precentral gyrus. A young patient who appears to be otherwise asymptomatic reports with sudden loss of 3 kgs in weight. Stools were pale in color and lab investigation shows normal bilirubin. What could be the cause? It is because of bile acid. So that's GIT. Which of the following is not related to respiratory center? So, the other three options are related. Knee jerk reflex is a stretch reflex. Decreased airway resistance is seen in sympathetic stimulation. Also a pharmac question. Complete transaction of mental nerve occurs. So, this is a nerve injury. Neurite messes is the answer. Right, then the next question, highest peak in progesterone level is seen between ovulation and menstrual phase. So, these are reproductive hormones, endocrinology and you can see the explanation. There is a key concept that summarizes the whole uh, explanation for you. It's a consolidated fact. You can also find good video explanation for all such interesting questions. Here in the video explanation, there will be a good discussion about the question, how to eliminate options, how to uh, strategize your preparation for that specific question and also a lot of parallel knowledge uh, on that topic, right? So, this is more interactive. 
Then next, which of the following nerve fiber is sensitive to hypoxia? And the answer is preganglionic sympathetic fibers, baroreceptors with regards to blood pressure. Which antigen is present in all blood groups? This is on blood. Identify the correct statement about active transport. So transport is important, general physiology. Maximum resorption of water takes place in which part of the nephron? In the proximal convoluted tubule, so renal system. Major solutes in saliva is reabsorbed in the striated duct. Growth hormone is not, is not released in which of the following conditions? In case of glucocorticoid therapy, pepsinogen, important uh, secretion. Deficiency of calcium in childhood leads to rickets. Very easy. Again, a question on rickets in the same exam in 2019. As you can see, rickets occurs due to which of the following? Pain which goes through direct channels from skin receptors to pain receptors is component with regards to specificity theory. So as you can see, not too many questions on pain pathways and uh, the neural pathways, right? Tracts. Sodium and glucose co-absorption in intestine is an example of secondary active transport. Iodine pump is activated by thyroid stimulating hormone. Testosterone is secreted by Leydig cells. Shift to right and shift to left, very important. Oxygen dissociation curve, go through the explanation thoroughly. Also look at the video explanation to understand. Okay, then during quiet breathing, which muscle is normally used? Diaphragm. Which of the following is a hemoprotein that is myoglobin, so blood. Pacemaker tissue in heart is SA node. School question. Which type of cells are found in parts nervosa of pituitary gland? Pituocytes. RBC in embryonic life are formed in the yolk sac. BMR is increased in all except hypothyroidism. Which of the following hormones activate CMP? Glucagon. Maximum contribution to colloidal osmotic pressure is by albumin, so plasma proteins. We've categorized them in general physiology. You can also consider that as a blood related topic. Then another question on bilirubin. It's formed from metabolism of heme. Plateau phase in action potential is seen in Purkinje fibers. Alpha waves are seen in wide awake state. Then buffer system in saliva is carbonic and bicarbonate. A lot of questions on saliva are also categorized in oral path and dental histology. So make sure you look at that too. Then peripheral chemoreceptors are not sensitive to hypocapnia. Which of the following type of cells are seen in Mishner's and myenteric plexus in small intestine? So sympathetic and parasympathetic. These are specific nerve endings. Migrating motor complexes are controlled by motilin in digestion. And the last question is what is true about hyperpolarization of membrane in neuron conducting impulses? So that is neuromuscular junction and nerve conduction. So that brings us to the summary of this analysis, which tells us that CNS, GIT, endocrine, cardiovascular and neuromuscular are very popular in terms of expecting questions in EMDS. But as you can see, more or less, you have questions from most of these. And lastly here, anemia, lung volumes and capacities. All these questions are some or the other way uh, covered in medicine, in path. So they are also asked that's why they are not showing very well here but what is the take home message from this is that all systems are important with regards to physiology but all of these questions are very simple and factual there is not too much of uh, case based questions or uh, not very complex questions from physiology so i think it is an easy subject if you can remember all these facts very well especially git and uh, regulation of blood pressure, cardiac cycle, respiratory cycle, the whole countercurrent mechanism in kidney. These are some very important concepts that you can always, you know, revise and uh, expect in the exams. Now, how do you prepare for physiology? So, in your app, when you go to tasks under each subject, you go to physiology and look at the tasks. So, all these topics that we just saw are 
present in form of different different tasks these are like small small individual blocks or small fundamentals of each topic so you can start your preparation by looking at the workbook the bytes the video so you look at the workbook it will have all the charts the flow charts illustrations images all uh, the details that you require to prepare that specific topic and this is always updated from time to time plus you have access to a lot of videos with the bytes uh, with these workbooks so all the explanation is in form of text and videos now once you've prepared a given topic you practice the questions and take a test now while you do that make sure that you are reviewing all the explanations and the key concepts and taking a note of all the important points in your workbook keep your workbooks handy they are very good uh, source of preparation because most of it is already there the skeleton is there you just have to fill it so prepare the topic one at a time and then take the test and complete all these bytes and then move on to the q bank and take your weekly checkpoint test to be able to make sure that you are doing well in a given subject and now i will tell you how to maximize your preparation with meritas app now there are five things to keep in mind when you start your preparation for any subject at any given point of time number 1 is to start with tasks like i said tasks are the building blocks they are your foundation and fundamental for any subject you need to start preparing for the task with the workbook you you must look at the video if you have any doubts regarding the topic and then practice questions and then you can take the test now whenever you are taking a test or practicing questions each question comes with the answer explanation and key concept the explanation will be elaborate it will tell you everything that you need to know about the topic it is a good source of taking down notes because a lot of additional questions can be asked from the existing explanations right and if you are well versed with the topic you can just look at the key concept and reinforce the topic in your mind additionally a lot of questions also come with multiple choice question videos which are explanatory videos they are going to talk about how to eliminate options how to strategically focus on the question and additional knowledge that comes with the topic so your first aim should be to complete all these tasks for a given subject and then move on to the next thing that is q bank now q bank or question bank is a collection of high yield extensive questions they are clubbed together in uh, topics they are clubbed together chapter wise and you will have more hands on experience on difficult and extensive preparation on these questions again they will come with explanatory videos explanations and key concepts so once your tasks and q bank for a given subject are complete you are good to appear for the weekly checkpoint tests now the tests are of two types in the app one is the weekly checkpoint test and self paced test i'll tell you about the weekly checkpoint test first so suppose if you are preparing one subject over the week then at the end of the week you will have a test which is going to focus on that specific subject plus the subjects that were previously prepared right so that kind of snowballs the entire revision strategy you will have a repeated encounter of multiple subjects from time to time so you do not forget it's easier to keep these topics in mind when you constantly see them so the revision is reinforced plus you also get personalized ai recommendations right so at the end of your test based on your performance you will get how many questions you answered what was the score how much was the negative marking where are you lacking what are your stronger points and then it will tell you how much time to dedicate for a revision of your weaker subjects so with this strategy you will be able to focus on specific areas that are your weaknesses now that is an exceptional feature of meritas app and the next set of test is self paced test which you can take at any given point of time these are subject wise test you can also have cumulative tests multiple recall questions also incorporated in form of tests and towards the end of your preparation phase you will have a lot of volatile factual high yield questions uh, in form of final strokes which are again specialized test to be able to remember these topics clearly before the exam now once you come closer towards the end of your preparation you will have access to this special feature of the app called marathon this is activated towards the end of your preparation where you will have 3500 plus high yield questions high yield questions meaning they have the chances to uh, be seen in the exam because either they are based on recall questions or because they are based on important concepts 
that are repeatedly seen in the exam. So when you practice these 3500 plus questions, you will also enter an all India competition where you will get a fair idea as to how your performance is with comparison to your colleagues. It's a great boost of confidence if you take it at the right time. And lastly, we have the all famous national mocks, which is a pan India or all India nationwide uh, simulation of NEET MDS exam. We conduct them uh, towards the end of your preparation in a few months to go. And every weekend you will have access to this special test. You will see a lot of new questions in national mocks, uh, which are based on important topics. So do not miss national mocks because it gives you a good hands on experience of the exam. It gives you an idea of time management because this is exactly according to neat pattern that is 240 questions and three hours with negative marking. So you, you kind of get a very fair and square idea of your performance because this is again an all India competitive uh, mock exam and you will get personalized AI recommendations here as well. Now they are more important for uh, national mocks too because uh, towards the end when you are revising you will not know which subject to pick up at what time and your performance in the national mock will be assessed thoroughly and you will get your AI recommendations which will tell you which subjects to revise. So make sure that you are making use of all of these features in the app. Now apart from that if there is any query that you have while solving your questions if you have any doubts regarding any topics you can always contact the faculty on the whatsapp group we are always here to help you and I hope with this in mind you will be able to channelize all your preparation strategy in the right direction and I hope we will be able to help you achieve your dream seat in MDS. Thank you so much and good luck from Team Meritors.